Welcome to Cruising Wheelchair. Welcome to Cruising Wheelchair. So this is on Ventura. Um, we're now on B304. Um, so a deck up. This is Barbados deck. And as we come in, it will look exactly the same as our previous cabin. <laughs> There's the hubby. <laughs> so on sea deck and um, which is Canada deck. Canada, yes. Um, which was on before. And we're now on the deck above, which is Barbados, Barbados deck. Deck 11. Um, so we was on deck 10. This is now deck 11. Um, we're in B304. Glass house is um, the muster station yeah. um same as last time down so you literally go down and across um one thing i didn't put in my vlog last time was that there was a leaflet in our room to state that if you are confined to a wheelchair like i am that if the alarm goes off we don't go to your muster station you actually go back to your cabin and you wait in your cabin and crew will come and collect you from the cabin um i haven't looked through the paperwork yet um but i if it's here i shall take a picture of it and i'll upload it onto my blog site. it is here yeah we've oh, okay seen you've seen it accessibility so okay so you've got your full mirror again there and in my side of the bed so we've got see our hooks and our clips um the air conditioning light switches or there's some light that switches where the blue thing is um at the front door um as well um and literally it is a repeat of c304 the cabin is a repeat the balcony isn't but the cabin is um so you've got your four drawers um and then again your light switch here and your light switch is here um again no plug no usb um by your bed we have just spoken to our steward here richard um who offered us an extension cable as there is a uk plug behind the bed so if you do have a cpap machine um or you've got any equipment that you need um which is electronic by your bed um the steward will have more than happy to um, get you an extension need and set it up for you so there's no worries there my last um, um vlog somebody did comment saying that there should be plugs next to the bed on not just um, obviously accessible cabins, all cabins. I completely agree. I don't design the ships. Um, I literally just comment on what is available in the cabins. Um, I completely agree. Um, even if it's just a USB by the bed would be really handy. Um, but this is an old ship. Um, and to be fair, there are plenty of sockets, which I'll get to in a second, in this cabin. So as you turn around here, you've got three doors. Um, this one here is just shelving and safe and where you've got your life jackets. So you've got quite a lot of storage here. And then the next is the wardrobe. So you've got a shelf on top, wardrobe. Um, there is... Um, there was no um, mid rail, but there is a slot. Yeah, there. there's a slot for your it's, it's mid up, mid up rail, um, and it's up on the top shelf. So obviously, Carl could get it down for me. But as I said in my previous vlog, it's not overly high, and I can reach all my clothes. And obviously, my wheelchair rises. But there is a mid rail if you needed it. And um, obviously, this cruise for us is just a short four nighter, purely to get to Amsterdam to, for me to meet up with an old friend. Um, who are classed as a sister. So here you have your kettle um, and just there is a UK socket, which is for the kettle. But obviously you could use it for something else if you needed to. Then over here, you've got two UK sockets as well. Um, and that is it on the UK sockets. But obviously they are over the other side of the room. Um, you've got obviously your goodies, tea, coffee, sugar, um, and then down here is your good size fridge. Um, as I said, it's just a four-nighter for us. And um, 
we've been um, gifted some goodies and bought some goodies. I don't think I can reach. <laughs> the next one is their black one is their hair dryer, the pink cases, my hair drying brush. But again, two shelves for storage. Your desk area um, and then your little TV up above. Um, again, same as cabin C304. You've got a chair and then like a stool chair and a little table, which is tucked under here. Um, and then a desk area. Um, and then over here, if I zoom in, um, I think you'll be able to be easy if I just point. So there is here is a US socket, which has got our, um, our USB hub. So that's our charging station, basically, where we all charge it, as you can see. Things are charging on there anyway. Um, then Carl's side of the bed is mirrored to mine. So same type of light. Um, you obviously he's got the telephone his side, the little shelf, four drawers. Um, and then you go to the balcony and this is where you see the major difference um, compared to our last cabin. Obviously, you're not overlooked on this balcony and um, where you were on um, Carib deck. Um, there's your light for the balcony there. And then if I can come out here. So if I can so this one here was where us were last time. And then obviously D deck is the next one down, which is um, like the deluxe um, balconies. Um, but as you can see here, we're not looked over. So it's a smaller balcony, a lot smaller. Um, so as you can see, obviously that's how they store their chairs with their footstools underneath them. And then the table to one side. Um, I'm out here in my wheelchair. Um, Just get that turn, I think. And yeah, I'll, I can I can turn just in here, but it is. You wouldn't be able to turn with a mobility scooter. Yeah, if you had a mobility scooter, you wouldn't be able to get out here and turn. Um, you would. You would have to. Really? Yeah, you'd have to reverse back, which would be again a little difficult because there's not a lot of space. Um, through the door, to be fair. Um, so if you can walk a little bit, the best bet would be to leave your mobility scooter just in the doorway here. And then with a walking stick or a walker, walk out here and obviously drag a chair up to, if I turn round so you can see the other end of it. As you can see me in their reflection, I can just turn on here. Obviously you've got this end here where you could put a chair up. Um, if you could walk it, obviously. So yeah, it's it's just enough space for me. But this cruise isn't a, a hot cruise, oh, a hot cruise for us anyway. Can just shut that. Um, it's a four nighter purely just to us to get to Amsterdam. Um, so yeah, so this is B three zero four on Barbados deck. Um, oh yeah, didn't do the wet room. Not that you haven't seen the wet room again, exactly the same. In fact, we're back on here. Um, we're on Iona next year. This is our last PO for this year. We've got Princess um, in October, the island princess, for two weeks. So there'll be a vlog on that cabin and a blog. Um, then we are on Iona in the suite um, for April next year. Um, then we're on Celebrity Apex in May. And then we're back on Ventura in October for two weeks next year. And we're in, was it A303? When, next year? Yeah, ne um, sorry. <coughs> um, for the Canaries next year. I think we're, st we're portside this time again. A303. Yeah, so we're starboard. So next year, the cabin will be slightly different where... I would assume my side of the bed is closer to the bathroom, which is easier for me, um, where A303 will be the opposite way round. So the bed will be along this side. So I'll be closer to the balcony. 
and coal will be closer to the wet room. Um, but obviously there'll be a blog on that next year anyway. So again, exactly the same, lowered hooks, um, a grab bar, our wash bag. Um, and then as you come in, you've got your fold down seat, your um, adjustable shower, um, shower, gel, I think it's shampoo. I don't know, I don't use it, we bring our own. Um, little shelves, um, lower shelves, everything's obviously um, good height for sitting on the um, seat. Um, there is the grab bar here. One thing I haven't said in my blogs is that, obviously you've got a toilet hold, roll holder here as well. I don't use it personally because I always forget to take it away when we have a shower and it ends up being soaking wet. Obviously you've got one over there anyway. But I don't know if you can see, let me zoom in. I'm going to zoom into this area here and you'll be able to see that there is circles which means it's height adjustable so depending obviously how tall you are or short I'm five foot two this is a little bit high for me um but um we just need to put it pop it down one and it'll be fine um so again toilet towels loads of grab rails your emergency button here and then You've got your mirror, your sink, and your two little shelves. I always take the lower shelf, hubby goes on the higher shelf, and obviously my moisturisers and wipes and that, I stick on the sink. And that's that. So not really a lot different to, well, it's not different at all to um, the last one. Um, however, it's always nice to see the cabin that you are going to be in, not one which is on the same or on a different deck or similar so i hope this has helped and um yeah this is b304 on the ventura thanks bye